Welcome back to Post Time. It's our Valentine's Day edition of the show, and we're going to be talking about a lady who everyone seems to be falling in love with lately because she's returned to the racetrack, and she's got a great story. I've got two men with me right now. Lucky me. It's Valentine's Day. And uh, <laughs> we're, they know this lady that we're talking about very well. We should probably explain. She's, she doesn't have two legs. She actually has four legs. Um, We've got Walter McDougall and we've got Paul McDougall and their brothers, if you didn't know that already. We're going to start out with Paul and we're going to find out how you actually met Apache Dane. We met her on March the 5th. Uh, we talked to uh, the gentleman that owned her in Canada and then uh, we, we went up to see her in Canada. We watched her work. She didn't do very good in the race, but we'd give the man our word that we was buying her, so we went on and bought her. We had her shipped to Meadowlands, and then we brought her to Dover, and we give her to Tim Chrisman, and uh, she raced in the open for us till 2007, I think it was, or, uh, December, and uh, she got hurt. We sent her to New Bolton. She was operated on her leg, and she got infection. They told us she'd told us she'd never race again. Oh, wait, that's where we had to stop because we had Walter tell us uh, some of the story. But I do want to mention, though, so, wow, you found her all the way up in Canada, which is really cool. Like, she was so stunning and so beautiful. They had to go to a different country to get a hold of this lady. Now we're bringing Walter. He actually kind of ran away from me, like, in the middle of uh, me yeah, speaking really. with Paul. Okay. Good on camera. You, I'm telling you. <laughs> You're gonna be great. You're gonna everybody. Let's cheer on uh, Walter right now. <laughs> okay, now take her to Winback Farm. She's bred to Badlands, and tell me from there. Well, we took her th to Winback. We were breeding her, and the vet up there called us one day and said Apache just threw a lot of pus out of her leg, and she's not walking lame any longer. So we went up there and she was sound as a dollar. <laughs> and the baby was born May 8th. And when we weaned the baby, we brought her right here to Peter. And he was hesitant at first and then he took her out on the track and he said, this mare is like she's never been off the track. <laughs> And just to clarify some dates here, we're talking May 8th, 2008. Now, I had my son July 24th, 2007. Okay, I've still got 10 pounds to lose, all right? So now we're talking Apache Dame has a baby May 8th, 2008, and then the baby weans about, what, the end of September? You, yes. you. We okay. brought her here like the 1st of October, okay. and it didn't take Pete long to get her back in form. She qualified, so she's at Peter's Barn for a couple months, and then she qualifies? Uh, d December 3rd, yes, right. She qualified. So all you moms out there, I'm included. You know, we got to take a little lesson from Apache Dame. You got to get back in shape. It only took her two months, okay, <laughs> like since the baby was weaned. So I guess totally it took her about six months, and she was pretty much back to the races. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Wow. That is so amazing. Right now, she's just racing strong. We're going to see what happens. Just going to see what happens with her. She's racing super right now, so we just take it one day at a time. Okay. Um, I've got Peters over here just checking things out. It doesn't seem fair that the trainer, Peter Tritton, shouldn't be saying something on camera. We've got shots of you jogging her along with another horse, three total. Why can't you just jog her normally like to a jog cart? Um, you can jog on a jog cart, but she gets pretty wound up. I've um, actually, um, she hasn't been in the cart here for five or six weeks. She only goes in the cart at the races, and um, I find she's better that way. She's more relaxed. Now, how impressed are you with her? Very? <laughs> yeah, she's a very, very good mare. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a really soft spot for ball gown. She's a very good mare too, but I think this mare's a little bit better. She's stronger. And she's a lovely mare around the place. Um, Probably, she was a very good mare when Timmy had her, and she raced real good. And I think um, having the two years off has probably benefited her. Like a lot of horses over here, and I'm guilty of it too, while they're racing and can earn money, you just keep racing them. And they don't get spells here, you know. At home, we, we spell them a fair bit, but over here, they don't because it's all about winning and all that. And I agree with it as well, but 
probably them two years off is going to stick with her a fair bit because um, she's a fresh horse now, you know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, she's definitely stolen Peter's heart, that's for sure. And uh, well, happy Valentine's Day. Actually, again, we need to remind everybody, I know I'm a little early with the Valentine's Day show. Today's the 8th, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. But you know what? I, I, I heard that every day is Valentine's Day here in the Peter Trenton stable. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. speechless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can only say yes, that's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for being on the show. And thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you.